I do think it's gonna explode. Hey, Concrete fans. Hey, everyone. Mr. Concrete Concrete. And Rat Girl. A oh, Willet Concrete. This is gonna be Ooh. a lot of fun. Whoa. What are we doing? Yeah, what's our thing? Willet Concrete. Rice. Wah, tell, us, tell us what kind of rice. Short yeah. grain. Does not come in a bun mama jar. That's just us. Right? Yeah, it's just nice for storage. You get. I love jars. Yeah. But yeah. So. I love storing things in jars. We're uh, we're attempting to use a lot of this, like maybe even yeah. more than the concrete itself. Yeah, I want to max it out. I want to use. I want to use an amount that potentially could fail the project. Because well, if we go just a little bit. Yeah. We could put anything. We could put a little, you could put a sprinkle of anything and be like, look, we could we do, did it, we, yeah, yeah we, we could, we could do totally like clickbait titles and be like, will it, will it concrete? It's like, uh, whatever. We could even do a drop test if we want to see if it makes drop it Drop it on the ground? Yeah. I think it's Hercules. Let's apart. break it. Okay, let's do it. Let's, yeah. um, I don't know. Start by putting some rice in there. We're going to do. Just like the whole thing. I don't know if it'll be the whole thing because we're doing this. We're doing our, let's see. our small. This is a yeah, test, actually, everyone. Actually, stop. So like, if we do that much. I put a bit less, yeah. We won't have room for concrete, but yeah. maybe that amount. That was, a, that, was a smart, that was a smart idea. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we got rice. A decent amount of rice. <laughs> what kind of rice does everyone like out there in, in YouTube land? A favorite type of rice? Mm. Well. Do you have a favorite type of rice? I like saffron rice. Um, but I do like basmati. We talked a little bit about this earlier. I know. I don't like it. You hate it. I do. Because it's dry. Because I think it's too dry. I don't eat rice like just rice. Like I'll add something like shrimp or uh, yeah, like yeah. something on top of it. Butter chicken. Like so. It's not always dry <laughs> if you've got good sides. I know. No, and I, yeah, I, I definitely get it being uh, a little bit, oh, let's put color. A little bit of color. So like, what yeah, color? like we're putting color just to see the difference between the yeah. the rice and the concrete. But also I'm curious, do you think it's gonna dye the rice Maybe. While, while it cooks? Because it gets hot while concrete is curing. The rice might cook. I think it's gonna cook. It could draw moisture out of the concrete and because of the heat that's generated, Concrete curing is an exothermic reaction, meaning that it creates heat through in the reaction. So uh, there might be enough heat. Like I've recorded temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius from curing concrete. I think it can even get a bit That's higher. Hot. Higher. It's pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's why it's why like people recommend drinks. like for things like concrete uh, plasters, anything that is in anything that's curing. When something's curing, it means it's doing a, a chemical reaction. Most curing chemical reactions are exothermic, meaning they generate heat. So never put a body part into like <laughs> this. The, you laugh, but like there's cases of people putting like their hand or leg in, in plaster, burn, like and, second degree burn, or and is it like third? melting their feet, and like how, when they go to try to get their foot out, like degloving their foot. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's bad. What okay. color are we gonna do? What? <laughs> we don't have to be so morbid. Tr trigger warning for that morbidness, but we're a little bit late, but maybe we'll edit the trigger warning. There's first. no pictures. I think our vocalization shouldn't put Kay. everyone over the top. Color? Um, you saw me come in in a bunch of red today, and I know you laughed because I say I hate red, so let's do red. Let's do red. But like, that's a lot. That's perfect. Go for it. Do a scoop of, I'll do a scoop of white too. Yeah. I'm always scared it turns pink if we do that, but you know better than me. I like just a bit. It helps colors express. Yep. Uh, we can get rid of that. Get That's it. it. That's it. Uh, you want to mix? You can have fun mixing. I could. Really? Then you do the sriracha water. <laughs> just kidding. That's not enough. So we're going to come at this the same way we do all our mixes, where we're going to really ease into how much water we add. If we don't even need that much, right? Because, like, there's not a lot of concrete in here. There really isn't, is there? No. The concrete's gonna be just kind of mm. like a binder. Do you think it's gonna stick together with the rice? It's well, not... let's keep, we're not We're not there yet. I see dry mix, so stop there. Oh, okay, I see. It's coming. It's happening. I might end up adding just a touch. Once we get to this stage, mm -hmm. I'm gonna add just a little bit of concrete mix, just a little bit small. of gray matter. Gray matter. Matthew Gris. Matthew Gris. I got it that time, right? Yeah, you did. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, Just, that's a lot. Well, it's 
it was like three tablespoons. Yeah. yeah I think it needs it. I still want it. As much as I said I wanted to max out the rice, I still want it to bond together. Yeah. I still want this to become a cohesive mix. We're close though. It's um. What's it look like? It looks like a bit like nerds, like little pebbles, like little candies, but. Kind of looks delicious. It looks like raw meat. <laughs> now it's less delicious. <laughs> yeah. But it does look like cartoon hamburger, right? Eh? Yeah, like it's ground, it does. Ground like. Oh yeah. It's not, but would it concrete? A part of me just wants to like touch it. You can touch it if you want. Like I want to see if like I can make a. Does it stay together? Yeah. Okay, well, we're close then. Well, I think, yeah, it's actually pretty good. I think you're good on water. Well, let's, I see standing water in the bottom still. Mm. So I think if I just kind of keep spinning this around, yeah. we're gonna get it. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Can you believe how hot it's been? No, and we're in the good part of the world right well, now. I know. So that's why I'm getting a little bit scared. It's kind of like, the flip of a page, we're on the next side. Has anyone been, is anyone out there on YouTube, are you in a place that's super hot, hot right now? It, it is currently, uh, it is the year 2022. Uh, we are in uh, Quite, July, yeah. mid-July, and it is hot all over the world. I read that Europe is- Melting. Europe is seeing its first like 40K, or I mean, 40, 40, 40, 40, degrees, 40, 40 degrees, 40 Celsius, like the UK, or yeah. no, it wasn't Europe, it was the UK. The it UK, was in Bristol, I think. Well, like where most of the reportings happen, but it's most of the UK. Yeah. But I was reading that most of the houses around there don't have AC. Oh no, yeah. And also their houses, their architecture is built to actually retain heat. Oh gosh. Because it's, normally it's too cold. People are worried about too cold. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought that was an interesting, I was like, what? Oh, that must be brutal. If it's 40 outside, it feels like 50 inside. It's, the heat is amazing how yeah. hot it can get. This is, it looks like a brain. Here, you give it some. Well, yeah, so. You, look at, look at how accurate we are with our measures. Whoa, and I do think it's gonna explode when the rice cooks. You think so? Yeah, I know. I'm kinda getting excited about I this. I feel like, I wouldn't be surprised if it just like made a, a bulby. What? You think? You think it's gonna like cook and get big? I think so. Okay, well that's bold. Well, rice does get bigger than it's true. raw, so. Well, I think let's keep it, like... yeah, give it a little, just so that edge seals, but let's keep tapping it. There should be air. There should be air in here. There's 100% air, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be voidy. I'd be very surprised if we don't have air voids. <laughs> it's gonna be a weird one. It might be awesome though. So. I read, I didn't read, how did I hear about this? Maybe I read it, read it, uh, <laughs> which is not the most reliable source of information. No. But one of the things that I have uh, come across, a piece of information that I don't know if it's true, if it's an urban legend, is that part of the reason why the Great Wall of China has had so much longevity is that there's been rice that's been mixed into part of like the mortar of the wall itself. You heard that? I've, I've read it. Um, yeah. That'd be really interesting if it's true, like... Well, the, the premise of the what I had read and what the person was positing is that rice had, had given the mortar elasticity and uh, had helped it deal with like water and just like stuff over time. It kept it from like getting too brittle and falling apart. What kind of rice? Well, I'm assuming if it's China, then it would probably be a, I don't know what kind of rice, like a medium, a medium grain. Yeah, probably, me yeah. Could be. I'm gonna Google that on on a day off. That's fun. But yeah, has anyone else read something like that? If that's, I'd be curious to know if it's actually true. If that's a, if there's like yeah. a scholarly article that would support that sort of information, or if it's more like a hearsay, urban legend type. It'd be a cool secret. Well, maybe we're on to something. I don't think. I don't think like the Chinese government probably wants too many people like digging holes in the wall of China to like test. Like, to go great, check for yeah, rice? Yeah, like, I'm looking for rice. Well, so, at this point someone, the rice is gone, right? Someone show, well, so no, who, there who should knows? be. There should yeah. be still like some artifact of it that you could be able to tell. So you really don't think it's gonna do like the popcorn and it's gonna like... Melt? Melt in No, there. no chance. No, no chance because of the grains. I don't think it will. I, don't, I guess I don't know. No, we don't know. We're gonna find out. You're gonna find out too. Uh, did we do it? We did it. 
We'll Whew. see you in a bit. <laughs> Record time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Or I guess see you later. Yeah, we shouldn't say bye. See you later. See you later. What did we do? do the drum roll. I liked it. You like the drum roll? Yeah. Oh, the, the GoPro told me to go it lighter. Just, it was too loud. No, let's go for it. Wait, was that it? That was it. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's a little too there, much. There's rice in here. That's too much. Watch out. Calm down. <gasps> so you were right. I was, I think I was right, but. As usual. I didn't know you're right usually. Mm, I'm actually wrong a lot. But. I didn't expect it to crackle like this. It's making me think of that old nail polish we used to put on our hands. I don't know yes. about you. But I know, I'm familiar. With the crackle. That's kind of the texture we got. I, I don't know. It's the rice pulling moisture out of the mix. Which, like, had we have thought about it, I guess, you could probably expect this from any... Well, you know what? We did talk about this on one of our earlier uh, Will It Concrete videos is that you want aggregates that are inert, that can't react, yeah. that don't, that are non-absorbent. This is one of the reasons why you want a non-absorbent aggregate is because it's sucking moisture out of the concrete. And so this concrete didn't cure. It more just kind of cracked, but it needed more moisture. It didn't bond basically, but let's see. But like, I like, I like, you can yeah. kind of see it. It did, it did expand. It got yeah. bigger. I thought it would like explode, but um, I was wrong with that. But wait, that doesn't look so bad. I'm smelling it. But we out. kind of always smell it. You gotta smell things. Doesn't really smell like anything. Why does it look okay? It's probably kind of fine. I think, yeah, just slow. I think okay. it, it's not strong. Yeah, I can see we're kind of sanding oh, off. Yeah, a little dusty. Uh, you know what? Because we put so much Ooh. Ooh. rice in here. <laughs> oh no. It's probably not really cured at all, to be honest. But. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Wait. Uh, where's the rice? This is in there. I, did it melt? Like, where's the rice? No, I don't think it melted. It's in there. You can see. It's but there's weird. holes, and I don't see them in the hole. Yeah, you <gasps> I see, see it here. little bits of rice. Right there. I, you know what? We're going to leave this. I'm not even going to strength test it, because I can tell you right now, this is like powder. It's, yeah, it's crackling. Um, but look at the weird bottom. Like again, it didn't, the rice took so much moisture out of the mix. Maybe with cooked rice. Because cooked rice would have moisture in it already. So it won't draw out moisture out of our concrete mix. We should have done a showdown. We should have done cooked rice and dry rice. Well, I can tell you right now, cooked rice would have fared a lot better. The only catch with the cooked rice is that it would be very difficult to get an even distribution of cooked rice, especially with the short grain, because short grain's naturally sticky. It's so sticky. maybe we have to use basmati if you're using cooked rice. True, and then maybe you won't eat it. <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna smell it. Uh, <laughs> I, kinda, okay. I don't know why, I just want to smash it. It looks so... It looks like you should just pull it apart. It does, but we're not doing well, we, that. You know what we thought? You had an idea. I had an idea because, yeah, sometimes I'm like, let's break it. But should we just do a little video of let's break it? Should that be like a new series? Let's break it. We're going to like reference other stuff. Like we did the popcorn bowl. You know, it could be anything. And we'll just do small videos maybe. Of breaking it. Yeah. Of breaking I, it. I agree too. The reason we don't want to break this right now is this hasn't been. This has been in the mold three, four hours. This still has time to cure. Whoa. Yeah, look at this thing. Look at the bottom. It's got like, we can probably get at some of the rice. I want to see the rice. Okay, I sure. want to know if it's cooked. Ooh. If it's cooked? I don't think it's going to be cooked. That looks gnarly. It really does look like aggregate. This sucks. <laughs> you don't like it? Well, it's so soft. This oh, is not, yeah. after four hours, this is not what gray matter is supposed to look like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's the rice. It's there. And it's dramatically decreased the strength of this concrete. And uh, it looks uncooked, which is yeah, probably I, what you said. There wasn't enough moisture to I cook it. I don't think. It was trying. Like, look, you, you, all this cracking is happening mm -hmm. because the rice is pulling moisture out. Um, but yeah, it didn't, uh, no dice. Nice. I want to break this. You want to break this? Yeah. A series of where we come back to these and check them. Because I would like to let it try to cure a little more and see if it's mm -hmm. anything. And like I said before, or maybe, okay, no, I didn't. That left. I have the popcorn bowl at home and I'm scared it's molding. So I think we should smash it and record it and see if I'm right. See, ooh. That doesn't that's sound. not a good sound. No, that's not a, this thing's cured sound. We have something. <laughs> that's a, this is made out of plastic sound. Yeah, let's do a sound test. Yeah, sound test. Actually, it, you know what? Maybe it's the handle of my. Huh. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh no. Mm, 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 mm. Yep. <gasps> no, I'm kidding. We're not okay. smashing it today. We're gonna wait for this to mature a little bit. We're gonna put some rice in some rice. And that's what we do at Concrete Concrete. Bye everyone. It's gonna be a weird one. It might be awesome though. Whoa, whoa, whoa.